Prix. Any of the horses for race number three, third race, first division. First line of the Wayne Fry pacing a series, racing one mile, purse of $2,500. Field of nine with no changes. The one is Federal Sombra, owned by Robert Hensler of Walston. Mike Wilder drives. Number two, Loves Little Bent, owned by Joanne Horn of Lancaster and George Villette of Columbus, Greg Grismora. Three is KG Jake, owned by Keith and Donna Ross and Bill Fountain with Jeff Fout. Number four, J.R. Hippocrates, owned by Ruth Kelly Barnes of Mount Sterling with Justin Hall. Five, Winsome Shalele, owned by Herbert Gladman of Tip City, R.J. Brown Drives. Number six is Traven, owned by Roy Murphy of Salina with Randy Tharps. Number seven, Menagerie, owned by the Lentford Stable of Lebanon, Eric Lentford Drives. Number eight, Baker's Legacy, owned by Ken Sommer of Illyria, Ohio, Bruce Regal in the bike. And number nine, one good time, owned by Herb Spearman, Mount Mont Vernon, Mike Spearman in the sulky. Win play show, perfected trifecta. Third and race, series pacers lining up behind the gate. They're on the back stretch. There they go. And they're off. From the outside, there goes the seven menagerie sprinting for the lead, but alongside Baker's Legacy, one step quicker will take command. From the inside, a third comes KG Jake. Alongside, it's Traven as they fire to the first turn. Menagerie is off stride early. On the front, Baker's Legacy has cleared the entire field to take the lead. KG Jake settles in behind the leader's second. It's a gap of two lengths. Third to Straven inside pacing. A fourth comes Love's Little Bit. They're at the first quarter in 28 and 1. And to the outside, KG Jake will pull the pocket and take the lead. KG Jake now on front. Baker's Legacy inside is second. Straven remains third on the rail. Love's Little Bit is racing fourth. Federal Saba pacing a five along the rail sixth. J.R. Hippocrates along the rail seventh. It's one good time and underway eighth now as they move into the clubhouse turn. Here comes the five winsome Shalele and the trailer is Menagerie as they approach the half with KG Jake in control by two. They reach the half in 59 three fifths. They straighten out down the back stretch with the three. KG Jake in command by a length and a half. Two. Straven is now moving first up, and he's uncovered. He's racing a second. Baker's legacy is locked in the pocket, pacing a third, a second over fourth as they move down the back stretch. It's loves a little bit. Racing five into the pocket comes Federal Sabra alongside a sixth. It's Winsome Shalele. This field begins to tighten now as they reach that three quarter mile marker. 128 and three with KG Jake still in command by a length. Straven has been parked to the outside from the half on. And here comes Loves a little bit swinging wide. And Baker's Legacy is looking for racing room as they turn for home. Now less than an eighth of a mile ago. And down the stretch they come. KG Jake. Opens up quickly by four lengths. Straven is racing a second. A battle developing for show, but it's all KG Jake at the wire. One, 57 and two. Trackside is the official winner. The first division first leg of the Wayne Fry pacing is series. Number three, it's KG Jake. He's a three-year-old Ohio bred son of Noble and Sam from KG Casey by Falcon Elmerhurst. Oh, by Keith and Donna Ross and Bill Fountain, Ron Potter, the trainer Jeff Fout in the Sonky. KG Jake breaking his maiden this evening in record time with 10 freshman starts last year. Nipped several times at the wire. No question tonight he was the best in the first division of the uh, Wayne Fry Pacing Series. He paced that mile in 157 and a two-fifths.